What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of City Skylines. And apparently, we have maxed out our cemetery. So let's put a pause on that. And we need. What do we need? Biohazard. Nope. Nope. We don't need that. We need a. Yeah, we need that. Let's empty him. Make everyone super duper happy. All right. So, while we were gone, we did a few things. We added a bunch more crop fields and greenhouses because we got a flour mill. So that definitely needs a lot of material. And we also expanded. So we needed to make a, quite a bit of our um, production, our own production for our materials that we do need. And what I would like to actually make or build is we already have a flour mill. So what we need next is a, don't tell me, I can, I know it, I know what I'm needing, is it? Do I know what I need? A bakery. So we have the animal products or produce. We have the fruits and then we have the flowers. So let's throw this bakery right next door to this guy. So hopefully when they're done making this, they can leave and come straight here. So hopefully these pastries will definitely start cranking out that money that we definitely need. Um, yeah, so what I would like to do today is we need to figure out our traffic because since I'm putting all of the industry over here and we got our little cargo sponge and this is basically all the cars, trucks, oh, okay, good time to package, all the cars, trucks, Everything that needs to be exporting and importing will be coming through here now. So what we need to figure out is we're going to have to actually let's get rid of this because we are going to have to expand because I can't buy any more tiles until we hit 30,000. So in the meantime, we're going to have to make an intersection here or not an intersection a interchange we're going to make an interchange here and then we're going to loop some of the highway here and we're going to make another interchange here which we can most likely lead up into the mountains because i do have some ideas that i would like to do in here um now the real question is what sort of interchange do i want to put there that can handle any of the traffic that I throw at it. And also we need to make it so we can have multiple directions on the intersection as well. Huh. I think I, I really like this Timbo's design one. I think we're going to go with that one. So let's get rid of this highway here. Make sure that we don't go too far because then we won't be able to replace anything until well actually no i take that back we can probably do it all right so we're gonna put that there let's get our three lane highway minimize that and we're just gonna reconnect the roads for the meantime so that means now we can start lane our parallel roads, same as selected, yes. Um, there we go. Ah, uh, boy, what's the... Nope. How about 30? How does that work? I think that works. All right, parallel roads, let's go. 
we want it in the opposite direction. And we're just going to actually start it here. And we're going to do free roam or free transform. Is it free transform? I don't know what it is. All right, let's go. We're going to go up 20 units here and we're going to go another 20. We're just going to kind of run this highway all the way over here in between. Bend it like Beckman, Beckman, Beckham, bend it like Beckham. Oh man, it's been a long day, guys. It's been a long week. That is for sure. All right. So we got that taken care of. So now we need another intersection here that we can run going up this way. And I don't want to reuse the same intersections. I would like to kind of switch it up a little bit. Um, so we already used the cargo traffic sponge. That is definitely, oh, it's a city interchange. Okay. So what about something like that? No, I want something a little bit bigger. How about this? Nope, don't like it. I may have to actually, you know what? I like this. So let's go. Where do we want to put it? Should we connect it right up to it? Or should we bring it a little bit more over here? All right. Out of city limits. Or should we make it more like an X? I don't know. You know let's go right here for right now. All right. Let's get our highways. We're gonna do that. And we're gonna go back to not parallel roads. And we're going to just kind of shift this one over just a tad. And actually, do I have a dirt decal? Um, can I? Mm. Nope, that's not going to work. All right. Maybe. Nope. Nope. It's OK. All right, so now with that, we got these three roads here. I am actually going to make, we're going to add another one. And this is the only one that is going to actually be an end to it because we don't want any more intersections going anywhere else. So this is basically, this road is going to connect to both of those. So we need to take a two lane road what do we want we'll take the smaller two lane road and then we're going to take a there we go move tool we're going to move this readjust this so that way it's a little bit nicer or neater all right next thing i'm going to go here and we are just going to leave that there oops all right, how's that look? Let's just double check to see that this guy goes here and that guy goes straight. Hmm, because they are two lanes, I'm thinking of, you know what? Let's upgrade. Let's upgrade this to a four lane road mainly for the fact that we are going to do this. We're gonna upgrade these two, this part of the road. All right. There we go. And those two lanes, he goes there, you go there, and you go there. And I'm pretty sure I'm missing a command for this. I'm gonna have to look it up. I'm not sure, but this is this is our life now. All right, go back to our three lane highway. And we're going to go, let's go up nine. Um, 
what is this? Elevation steps. Yeah, okay. What does 9 look like? I think we may have to go up to 12. Alright, it's snapping again. You know what? Before we do the bridge, I want to see where this road's going to end up. Alright. Okay, there we go. We're going to go up 12. Five units. There we go. Go from here to here. Done. And then I believe it was 10. I'm going to go all the way down to ground level. Uh, that's a little off, but that's okay. Nope. Stop it. Alright, so now we need to go 12 again, 5 units, and we're going to go 10 out, all the way down, and connect. Then we're going to just connect these two, and as you can see, I am a horrible person to align things up on, and we're just going to just make it a little neater. Uh, let's just do that. All right. So now the next thing, let's just, you know, what? let's decorate a little bit. What kind of trees do we want? Do we want some tall ones, some multiple ones? I want something that's just going to make everything look a little bit nicer. All right. Nope. Too big. Junipers. Yeah, we're definitely going to do those. Let's bring that up. Spacing. We want... Let's go 12. Even. So we're going to go from here all the way up to there. Oh, yeah. That definitely makes it a little bit nicer, I guess you can say. The fact, unless we're shifting everything over, which we can worry about later. So, let's resume. So now traffic can actually move its way. Oh, just kidding. We forgot to do one important thing. We need to connect the highways. All right. Now that I think that's good, let's see what else we can do. Um, but do 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 do. So we got the cargo traffic. Let's see. With it running, how much? Okay, we are definitely making a pretty decent profit now. Um, we need a lot more industry. And I don't know if I want to do office zones or if I want to make a bigger industrial area. I'm thinking of... You know what? Let's make some more office. We're going to make this whole area basically an office space for industrial, no, not industrial, just office space in general. We want, what do we want? Do we want a tram road, four lane road with tram and bikes? I think it might be time to start upgrading some of these. So we're going to make a road completely diagonal. Oops. All right, let's do that again. Let's get rid of all this. Let's take this road and you know what? All right, what is the main road here? Um, yeah, so we're going to actually upgrade this and then we are going to get rid of these two roads for the moment and we are going to run 
this all the way out here. And then we are going to go There we go. I'm gonna go out to here and then connect. And then what I'm going to do here is just like what we did over on the highway intersection, we're gonna go 12 up, five. Is that high enough? Do you think trains will get through that? I think so. All right, we're just gonna, oh, nope. I need, there we go. How's that? Okay, good. So let's go back to here. Oh, wow. What kind of step is that? All right. That's what the move it tool is for. Let's raise this piece up a little bit. There we go. That's a little bit nicer. So now we'll eventually actually get through with upgrading these roads and I think we may actually upgrade this road as well. You know, let's do that now. We're gonna upgrade this and then we'll be right back and we're going to continue on. So now we have a bunch of industry coming in, more office space, more light or better. I don't know what I'm saying. So we're going to keep an eye on this traffic here. And what I think I would like to do, I don't know if I want to make these the actual office buildings or if I want to make it an IT cluster like I did here, but I am super excited to, I, I really want our, um, okay, what's going on, bugs? There's a fly buzzing around my head and I can't figure out where he's going. But on a side note, so let's look at policies and themes. So we got it's a brand new release, so just got released today, actually. The Big Suburbs theme, and I will link all of the info for that. And the theme for that is, I mean, let's take a look. Look at all these awesome designed houses for, they all are there. They all come with their own, like, unique touch and they all go up to level five. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. And I'm hoping that we're actually going to enable those. So I'm really hoping that once we get this industry placed in and everything else, we'll be able to actually get some more people or some more growth involved here too. And I can definitely see some of these trucks are using this highway to get to where they need to. So let's see, what is next? What do we need to do next to increase our population to 30,000? This road, this industry area definitely needs to go somewhere. I'm not sure 
what exactly it's doing. Let's get those back and running. All right, let's take a look at our vitals here really quick. Our water availability is doing all right. Storage is good. Garbage processing, that's ah, pretty decent. Elementary school, we definitely need some more education. But because I did place these four lane roads with dedicated tram lines, I am thinking, oh, and we also placed a monorail station here as well. So that way we can connect it up to our other monorail such situation right here. Um, but you know what? I think we're going to end it here. Hopefully we can figure, oh wait, I lied. We're not going to end it there. I wanted to actually talk about our Emerson Park. If you guys still have, or if anyone has any names, anything at all in relation to something that's not going to get flagged on YouTube, but I believe what I would like to do before we leave. So let's see here. What can we add? Maybe let's let's actually add a restroom over here. And maybe a restroom right next to the haunted house because you never know. They might scare the Sims and they might pee themselves. We definitely don't want that. So a little quick trip to the washroom and we are good. And if is there any... Oh, uh, no. See, look. There's the zoo. We don't want that. A driving range. We want to definitely put the driving range with this office space. Because everyone that um, works in an office building, anyone really, they... Can you think of... Or can you guess what it is? They all play golf. So a driving range is definitely going to be something that everyone wants, including myself. Golf is definitely a very fun sport if you have played it and you are not super competitive like everyone else's. So, on that bombshell, ah, Jeremy Clarkson, we are going to end here and we will see you next time.